r slash ask reddit what jobs will make you fit or have a better body than working out landscaping jobs can be a real workout retail as well though it depends a bit on what exactly your role is i did some super hard and probably unnecessary work to repair my lawn basically tore it all out by hand and redid it i was in very good shape that summer worked at ups as a loader when i was 18 lost 40 pounds in two months and got muscles i never knew existed similar story here went from struggling with 20 pounds to tossing things that weighed more than i do without breaking stride i like being fit but i also don't miss being perpetually sore and stuck waiting for a trailer until 2 a.m i think the problem is that any job that has the potential to make you very physically fit also carries a fairly high risk of significant injury unlike exercise done under very controlled conditions such jobs often require movements slash positions slash locations that leave you prone to injury exactly the worst is how repetitive motion injuries sneak up on you see that ripped guy carrying two stacks of shingles up the ladder ask him about his back pain in 20 years tree lopper climbing trees all day while carrying a chainsaw came here to say this a friend of mine is a tree surgeon he's never set foot in a gym and he's built like a young sylvester stallone I worked at a lumber mill and was in the best shape of my life literally sliding huge slabs of wood off a conveyor all day. I used to be a hiking guide. I was lean and could hike all day. Couldn't do any other athletic feat but I could fucking hike. I was in great shape as a mover slash junk remover. Forrest Gump voice, you wouldn't believe it but I can hike like the wind. I set up tents for an event company a summer after high school. Your boy was ripped. All day every day in the heat swinging a sledgehammer and lifting metal frame tents will make you jacked. Also I will never do that job again. Same in college. Inflatables, water slides, chairs slash tables. Only 3 years there and now at 30 my back and knees are in a right state. I work at Amazon and have lost a good 50 pounds doing so. I make $21 slash HR while getting 40 hours of light mid cardio per week. I've went from 220 to 170 in 3 years. Amazon pays for half of my computer science degree and I almost dread what's going to happen when I graduate to a desk job in another year. Aldi warehouse here. $26.75, 52 hours a week. I burn 2000 calories a day. Construction. Till you're 40 and your joints stop working. Mason. Spending all day slinging bricks, mortar, and concrete will do the trick. I labored for a couple years for two bricklayers. Absolutely ripped and could work all day. The movement of shoveling mud and throwing it up two sections of scaffold gave me rock hard ABS. I used to sand my shovel so the mud would slip off. It's funny how you can be nostalgic about slave labor. It was like old Egypt most days. Oh god, no workout compares to a moving job. 12 plus hours a day non-stop running up and down stairs, lifting 50 to 200 pounds objects, spinning couches and dressers and mattresses around in the heat. I got pretty jack moving furniture too but also injured myself a few times and did not sleep enough, drink nearly enough water or eat enough protein. Worked in dairy department for a few years. Had a six pack with all of the milk crates I moved around. Surely you had to carry more than just one six pack. I worked at Home Depot in the special services department collecting special order windows, doors, retaining wall blocks, you name it. Was super strong and ripped. Also walking miles and miles a day across that big box store was good for cardio. Collecting shopping carts was the dumbest job I've ever had but it was a good workout and I enjoyed how little I was supervised. Farmer or lumberjack? I knew a lumberjack once, he was okay. Stagehand, did 40,000 steps the other day and constant lifting all day. I did my just gig of the season on Friday, my body forget about how intense that shit is. I worked wait staff in a three-story restaurant and the kitchen was on the second floor. Ran up and down stairs the whole shift. Yeah honestly restaurant serving is amazing for cardio slash endurance and amp, weight loss. Plus if you're able to stack the plates and they're reasonably heavy, there's a strength portion in there as well. I've never met a fat UPS driver. Farmer. Just be careful how much you lift. Otherwise in shape at all times. They've usually got country strength but wouldn't consider them healthy. Generally balance it out with poor diet, alcohol abuse, and ignoring all things mental health. Landscaping, or garden centers. Package handler at FedEx. Great shape working at the distribution centers coming out of college. I was a package handler at FedEx ground for 6 years in my early 20s. Throughput goal was 800 packages per hour I hit 1200. 
boss had to ask me to take a break several times, to let the others catch up. In my first year of being a package handler at UPS, I lost 40 pounds without trying to. Package handling in the summer with no AC is no joke. I used to cut slash fab slash install granite and quartz. We always joked with new hires that you won't need a gym membership. Rancher. Not farming, ranching. Farming has gotten way more automated than ranching. Especially if you work in the mountains on horseback. Wildland firefighting. Granted, you will have to do PT as part of your shifts not on fires, but still. Fighting wildfires requires hiking up and down big ass mountains with at least 45 pounds of gear on your back at a swift pace. I've seen a few but it's definitely rare. They deliver heavy packages and I'm sure it helps them get in pretty good shape. Better body than working out is a tough one, because based on the workout load and diet, that could be as close to optimizing your visible fitness as possible. However, I'm guessing you mean what jobs will give you a consistent enough workout that it's more effective than say, eating whatever and working out a couple times a week. To that I'd say a physical trainer, a mover, a soldier, or an arborist, someone who plants trees. Yeah, good explanation. If you were paid to work out optimally there is little going to beat it. None really because bodybuilding is purpose specific and no job should be asking you to work at the intensity that bodybuilding would. You can still be in great shape doing any number of manual labor jobs. Solid waste disposal. Hauling trash, scrap metal, and recycled plastic, all by hand really develops functional strength. I miss that job sometimes. A fitness instructor. Bodybuilding coach. Anyone who works in a kitchen, if they are not constantly eating up. Or stoned or drunk or hung over or tweaking just the experience I had lol. My friend delivers water and has added a good amount of muscle doing so. Professional bodybuilder. Cutting and hanging tobacco. Farming in general. Block laying. Pro athlete. I was in the best shape of my life when I worked for a beer distributor. Horse groom. Not the typical response but when I was working as a nanny to a toddler I was in the best shape of my life. I was walking like 5 miles a day pushing a stroller and chasing her around the playground. It was great to give her back at the end of the day as well so sleep wasn't affected like with parents. Gladiator. Death metal drummer. Wish that were true. It's okay cardio, but it's not weight training at all. Good cardio. Yeah I work as a brewer and it definitely keeps you in shape. One half kicks weigh 165 pounds and bags of grain weigh 50 to 55. Lots of lifting of those things. Massage therapist here. Objectively fittest person I've ever worked on who didn't work out was a female carpenter in her 50s. She was objectively incredibly proportioned and strong as heck. Second fittest was a dog walker. Also claimed to not work out much. Massage is pretty intense itself. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.